I think in uh, CLL for a long time now, the field has moved away from chemoimmunotherapy based combinations and largely treatment paradigms have been dominated by use of the BTK inhibitors or uh, the BCL2 inhibitor venetoclax. So we've seen at the EHA Congress a uh, more long-term follow-up of these treatment strategies and also importantly, real-world evidence data about what happens in patients who have seen both classes of medicines. Unfortunately, outcomes for patients who have progressed after um, being treated with BTK inhibitors and BCL2 inhibitors have historically been poor, but we're starting to see now um, other therapeutic strategies emerge in that setting, including the use of non-covalent BTK inhibitors, such as pertubertinib or nemtubertinib. And I think that um, shows us a way forward. Also important to see um, data uh, around the combination of BTK inhibitors and BCL2 inhibitors and what that offers for the potential for uh, time-limited therapy. And so I think, um, you know, lots more to come in CLL, but um, again, uh, very much centered around the use of non-chemotherapy-based uh, targeted uh, agents.